Good evening, my friends. I hope you're all well. Welcome to the best Headball 2 channel on YouTube. I am your host, Pounds, and I'm always happy to provide you with meaningful information about the game. This is video 5 out of the 30 that I am making to alert you to mistakes that many players make when using features or functions of the game. The point of this video is to make you aware of these mistakes and thus increase or at least not decrease your usefulness. As always, a quick update for those of you who watch the videos with subtitles. Please excuse the sometimes poor wording as I used Google Translate from the original English language track to your language, meaning sometimes words or phrases are translated without the intended meaning. If you find the subtitles too fast, please go to YouTube settings and reduce the playback speed bottom right by clicking the custom icon to reduce the normal speed of the video then it should be easier to read and follow. Today we will turn to the superpowers that you'll find in the left corner of the game where you can choose your selected superpowers in the store to buy them with your gems and finally in the advert section to get them for free in exchange for watching ads. Common mistake number one, no distinction between premium and normal superpowers. There is actually a way to analyze which superpowers are premium, for example, easier to score or less likely to concede, and which are normal superpowers, for example, less likely to score or more likely to concede. To find out, all you need to do is go to the superpower section of the ad page. If you get a superpower that gives you a times one, it's a premium superpower. On the other hand, if you get a superpower with a times two, it means that it is a regular superpower. As with anything in life, the less something is available, the more value it generally holds. When you know the strength of the superpowers, you can choose which ones are right and which ones you will benefit from. Whether it's against real players or against robots, it's always good information to have. Common mistake number two, not loading your superpowers before your gaming sessions. I still make this mistake at least once or twice a week. I buy my favorite superpowers and mainly use freeze and double go. As I use them during my playing sessions, they naturally get used up and I forget to check if the right amount has been bought or loaded. I find myself during a game where if I have to use them because I did not buy them in advance and because I need them immediately, the game charges me between two and three diamonds for a single superpower, which is a ripoff. You should always make sure that your favorite superpowers are properly loaded before you start your games. Common mistake number three, not using at least one defensive superpower to guarantee victories. We all have our preferences and there is no right or wrong, except that as we saw in mistake number one, you should make sure you use premium superpowers over regular ones. I recommend including the clone goalie in your superpowers list because there will be times when you'll beat your opponent by a single goal, regardless of whether it's a real player or bot. If you have this power available 99% of the time, you can prevent your opponent from scoring a goal with 5 to 10 seconds left, depending on what level your superpowers have been upgraded to. In the last three years I've been playing, bots have scored on my clone goalie a total of less than 10 times. I highly recommend adding this superpower to your arsenal of superpowers to use when you are leading by a single goal with only a few seconds left on the clock. Common mistake number four, you do not understand how superpowers are placed in relation to your game screen. Many of you do not know or at least are unaware of how the placement of the superpowers in the main screen affects the placement on the match screen. This is an important aspect of the game because if you place the superpowers correctly, you'll make sure that you use the ones you really need first instead of going through and wasting all of them to get to the ones you actually need during a match. As you can see, my superpowers are placed as follows. Freeze in the top left, clone goalie in the top center, double goal top right, giant player in the bottom left, fireball in the bottom center, and finally bomb in the bottom right. I am going to show you where they are placed during a game I am about to play. See you afterwards. Have fun. The match is about to kick off, and the excitement is through the roof. 
Let's see who will have first. He's trying to surprise his opponent by bagging an early goal with his superpowers. He's juggling the ball. A large goal and he scored. Nice shot. Goal! Off. He used the double goal. Denied by the post again. Lucky that wasn't a double goal. He sees the goal and, and it's a goal! And he scores. The goals are raining. The double goal is you. Goal! It's a double goal. He headed the ball towards the goal. What an amazing goal. Right, the friends are going wild. What a comeback. The ball hit the goalpost. Scored off the crossbar. Magnificent finish. Players are a giant player is on the field. He transformed into a giant and slammed the ball into the net. He's juggling the ball and making his opponent mad. A terrible shot. He scored an own goal. A fireball is used. Goal! It's a fiery goal. Into the penalty. And it's a goal! 45 seconds have passed in the match. Let's and the ball is in the net. The ball, boom! The bo a perfect strike. Right where the goalpost is. Great head, it's a goal, what a finish. That's a fine header. The ball bounced off the goalpost. Goal! He tried his luck with a header. We're slowly getting to the end of the match. He blocked a possible, the ball meets the net. When will the players use their last super? A shot from the air. Goal! The ball is in the net. He's scored plenty from there before. He keeps on juggling the ball before a new attack. We're in the now that's what I call a goal. The goalie is here. Things are really hectic now. He aims for the top corner. We are in the final five seconds. He's using all he has to be able to score. The referee has ended the match. What an exciting match. The players are already looking forward to the next one. Common mistake number five, not watching the ads to get free superpowers. This is recommended, especially if you do not have a large gem balance, to buy the superpowers of your choice or the ones you need. If you have just started playing or do not have a large stash of superpowers yet, I highly recommend watching the superpower ads and watching them a second time to double up. Whether you are playing against real players or robots, you will need superpowers at some point. You should try to take advantage of the free stuff, even if you have to watch the ads to do so. Common mistake number six, wasting superpowers when you are winning or leading by a large margin. Some of you do this for fun, and I can understand why. You must never forget that Massimo has changed features of the game without warning or notification, and can do so in terms of superpowers, their availability, price, etc. With this in mind, I strongly recommend you do not waste them. During the games, if you win by a sufficient margin and the superpowers are not needed, it is in your best interest not to use them. Expect the unexpected with Massimo. Common mistake number seven, upgrading superpowers more than necessary. This depends on each player. There is no one solution and strategy for everyone. The longer you play this game, the better you get at it and the better you know your strengths and weaknesses, which in turn will make you feel comfortable or not at certain levels of superpowers. Please do not think that it is necessary to upgrade all superpowers to level 10. As you can see, I have my most used superpowers at level 9, as I do not need or require a high level. For the lower superpowers, I have mastered their use and really do not need to level them up. This will be different for each player, so make sure you know what you are doing. Common mistake number 8, not using superpowers to accomplish daily missions. Sometimes there are situations when you need to use a certain number of superpowers to complete missions. Sometimes it's not worth fulfilling them all, especially for the player of the match ones. But sometimes it's worth fulfilling them. The point is that you should always check the section of the game in the morning and assess whether 
the use of superpowers fits the overall strategy for the daily missions or not. And finally, common mistake number nine, not realizing and memorizing the use of superpowers the robots have when you play them. I posted a video a while back of me playing 10 games with different characters at different levels. If you watch the video all the way through, you'll notice that the robots almost always use the same sequence of superpowers. A few days ago, I posted a video about how you can find out if you are playing against bots or not. If so, it's in your interest to memorize their use and sequence of superpowers so you can win more easily. So there you have it, folks. That's it for the common mistakes regarding superpowers being video 5 out of 30. Don't forget to tune in the next few days for the release of other common mistakes videos. I was your host, Pounce. I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much for watching.